Hey guys, out here, nature park with Shohar. He's in the background. If you hear him, don't mind. He talks a lot. We talk a lot. Today, I'm going to be reading from the Esoteric Philosophy of Love and Marriage by Dion Fortune. And I'm reading about polarity upon the physical plane. We are equipped with physical bodies in which the configuration of the generative organs determines the part we shall play in the polarity of life. We are born male or female and have to abide by the decision of our conception. The phenomena of the hermaphrodite or homosexual being regarded as pathological by the esoteric as well as the exoteric scientists. The control of sexual activity upon the physical plane is determined by the chemistry of the endocrine organs, the ductless glands that pour into the blood secretions known as hormones, which circulating in the blood bloodstream stimulate the secretory organs to activity. Thus, the sex pressure rises and falls in an individual according to the chemical composition of his blood, which is constantly fluctuating within certain limits. Charts have been worked out to prove this. The monthly cycle of a woman's sex life has been shown to coincide with the percentage of lime salts in her blood and the male also, there is a rhythmic rise and fall of desire, which, however, has been less studied more than the marked porosity of the woman, the female. It has been declared by certain popular writers that, this, that in this discovery, we have the clue to the whole of life, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual. It has even been stated that a man is simply the synthesis of his indoctrines and that every spiritual impulse every emotional ideal can be expressed in terms of lime salts. One point, however, is ignored by these philosophers of the physiological, and that is the profound influence on the indoctrine organs of emotional states. One influence, um, no, one school of physiology declares that the adrenal glands situated over the kidneys are the controllers of the sex functions. Another school calls the adrenals and the organs of combat, as it is, their secretion, secretion, which tenses all the tissues to readiness for violent exertion and causes the blood to clot freely if wounds should be inflicted. And it is known that these organs are stimulated to activity when their owner feels the emotion of anger or fear. I want to stop right there because these are things I have constantly talked about, guys, how fear and anger they change the way our body expresses hormones, our body feels and is able to process those triggers, those traumas that lie dormant within our being that we aren't so consciously tuned into. It will thus be seen that the exoteric scientists proving experimentally what esoteric science has long taught, that the functioning of the physical organism is controlled from the plane of the instincts and passion. Although the chemistry of the endocrines controls the functioning of the physical tissues, the endocrines are themselves controlled by the emotions. I'm gonna stop there again. Guys, it is so essential, it is so important to realize that the way that you are interacting, the things that you come into contact with daily are a reflection of your internal state. They are a reflection of your internal state, your internal world. Like you can't expect to receive what you aren't reflecting back into the divine stream, into the pool of the collective consciousness. You must realize that you are a ripple, a wave in the ocean, in the vast ocean. For example, um, I'm gonna use a beach, all the sand on the beach. We are but each grain individualized expression to make up the whole there is no need in a book of this nature to go into the well-known details of sexual physiology enough has merely been said to indicate the point where exoteric meets esoteric science that point being the indoctrine system and guys i'm definitely going to post a medical video about my medical knowledge because i have written papers published medical papers 
on the indoctrination system and the role it plays in our um, well-being here. So that's my reading for today. I'm going to enjoy nature park with my beautiful son, Ade. Hey. Say hi to the world. Hi, world. <laughs> what are you doing now? I'm just finding something to protect. 